Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're going to learn how to record and produce your band in Reaper. And this is part nine of that series. Next, we're going to work on the vocal track. Now, for vocals, I prefer to use a large diaphragm condenser mic, or an LDC for short, similar to this one. They tend to bring out more of the transient information or intimacy or top end in vocal tracks. So they sound clearer or cleaner and require less EQ to get that bright and upfront popular sound. But any good dynamic mic will also work very well on vocals. But we'll be using a condenser mic like this one. In addition to the mic, I like to use a pop filter like this one to reduce any P pops or strong B sounds that create problems or popping sounds with our vocal. I'll place it in between the singer and the vocal mic, as you can see here. I also like to keep the mic about three or four inches away from the singer's mouth with the pop filter right in between in a direct line from the mic. Too far away and it can get a bit too ambient or distant if you're going for a present upfront type of sound. But if we get too close, the proximity effect will kick in and we'll get more bass or low end than we really need. So we'll split the difference at about three or four inches. We'll connect the mic to input 12 of our interface, which is how we set it up in Reaper earlier. So let's go back to Reaper, take all these tracks out of record, put a vocal track into record, bring up the preamp on input 12, and let's have the singer sing. 17, he waited long enough. Packed his dreams and all this stuff. And headed north up. Once again, we can see it's a bit too loud. Let's bring our preamp down just a bit. And let's hear it again. 17, he waited long enough. Packed his dreams and all this stuff. That looks a lot better. Headed north up. Between minus 18 five. and minus 12. Nothing more than a couple of bucks. But it sounds a bit boomy or muddy in the lower mids. It also has some rumble we could add a high pass filter to, to remove. And it's also a bit too dull, so we can make it a bit brighter as well. But let's start with the low end. We'll add some EQ, right over here with the re-EQ. We'll start with the high pass right here and bring it up so we can filter out some of the low end. Let's make this a bit bigger so we can see it better. 17, you waited long enough. Packed his dreams and all this stuff. And headed north up 65. If we get too high, it gets a bit too thin. 17, he waited long enough. Packed his dreams and all this stuff. And headed north up 65. Nothing more than a couple of bucks. And his guitar in the bed of his truck. Right about there feels pretty good. Now, if you watch on the EQ, we can see the energy in this range right here that we're reducing. 17, he waited long enough. Back to his dreams and all this stuff. That sounds a bit better. Now let's add a band filter using this right here with a band filter and cut out some mud in the lower mids. 17, he waited long enough. Back to his dreams and all this stuff. And headed north up 65. Nothing more than a couple of bucks. And his guitar in the bed of his truck. So we're cutting about 230 hertz, about 3 dB. What's here before and after? 17, he waited long enough. Packed his dreams and all this stuff. And headed north up 65. That sounds a lot clearer. But before we hit the top end, let's add a compressor first. Now the reason for this is you want to cut down any low end information or this rumble and mud before it hits the compressor. If we hit the compressor before this stuff, it's going to trigger unnecessarily. So we want to reduce this stuff first, then hit the compressor to even out the volume of a vocal, then we can boost after the compression. So let's add a compressor next. The recomp here. Once again, we'll start off at four to one. Pretty quick attack and release. 
Let's bring down our threshold. Seventeen, he waited long enough. Packed his dreams and all his stuff. And headed north up 65. So reducing about two or three dB, bucks. which is going to even out the loud phrases from the quiet ones, making a more consistent vocal. And his guitar in the bed of his truck. He was scared, but so alive. With a hundred reasons for turning back. But he couldn't see none of that through the stars in his eyes. So now let's add an EQ after this. Use the same one. Again, let's make it a bit bigger. And we don't need all these other bands, so let's just remove them. Except for the last one, make sure it's a high shelf. We can boost the top end to make it sound prettier or more clear. Seventeen, he waited long enough. Packed his dreams and all his stuff. And headed north up 65. Nothing more than a couple of bucks. And his guitar in the bed of his truck. He was scared but so alive. With a hundred reasons for turning back. But he couldn't see none of that. Through the stars in his eyes. Once again, using a shelving EQ affects that frequency all the way up. If we switched it to a band filter, it'll sound more peaky at that frequency. 17, he waited long enough. Packed his dreams and all his stuff. And headed north up 65. With a high shelf, sounds a lot smoother. 17, he waited long enough. Packed his dreams and all his stuff. And headed north up 65. See how balanced that sounds? We're boosting about 3.7 kilohertz all the way up. Let's hear before and after with the bypass button. 17, he waited long enough. Packed his dreams and all his stuff. And headed north up 65. Nothing more than a couple of bucks. And once again, we're not recording it this way, so we can always change it or readjust it after the recording. I just want it to sound better for me and for the artist as he's singing. Now let's blend it all together by putting all these tracks into record, adjust the volume on the singer, and have the whole band play. 17, you waited long enough. Packed his dreams and all his stuff and Headed north up 65 Nothing more than a couple of bucks and His guitar in the bed of his truck He was scared but so alive With a hundred reasons for turning back But he couldn't see none of that Through the stars in his eyes Small town Alabama boy Headed for the lights and noise The city limits signs Of anywhere Anywhere That sounds a lot better, but it does sound a bit dry. The drums and the lead vocals could use some effects like reverb or delay, to make them sound more exciting. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. But for now, I think what we're recording feels pretty good. So let's move on to the next video and add some effects.